Hey everybody, welcome back to Prepper Junkie. Uh, today we have the Trigicon ACOG TA44 1.5X with the ACSS reticle. Okay, so let's break that down. This is a 1.5X, 1.5 times magnification. It has the primary arms ACSS reticle, which is very cool, and I'll talk about that later in the video. Um, so yeah, and it's an, it's an ACOG. <laughs> it's commonly referred to as the baby ACOG um, because obviously of its size. Um, so let's just kind of go over the uh, the outside here, go over some of the, the features of it. Um, now I realize not everyone's gonna make it to the end of this video, so I did wanna give you guys a heads up. Um, in the link below, you can buy this optic or uh, any kind of TA44 opti TA optic like this with a free mount if you use my link. Um, just a deal that Primary Arms has given our viewers, which is freaking awesome. So free, you know, $300 mount if you use the link below. Um, just click on the link and then down to the bottom of the page, it will say, you know, mount and options, free mount, and it just select what mount you want. So this is the QD one that comes with it. All right. Moving on. Okay, so um, as a typical ACOG, it looks like an ACOG, right? It's just in a miniature version. Um, it's in, it's got it's um, it's maybe a little hard to see on the camera here, but it does say Trichicon ACOG, and it's obviously indented there, so it's you can see it and you can feel it. Made in the U.S. of A. It does run on tridi uh, tr tritium and uh, fiber optics, just like the regular ACOGs. This one is the green uh, reticle. Um, and then, so this will last forever, no, no batteries required. The tritium on the other hand will last about 12 to 15 years, depending. Then you can send it back in to get it changed if you wish. Um, and then, so obviously we have the cap turrets here, and they are tethered on there with a wire. And so you can unscrew these and you won't lose them, obviously, which is really nice. That's a wind, 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 wind engine elevation. Um, the, the turrets are really audible, they're really tactile. Um, again, I know you'll see that later in the video. They screw back on a place just just like that. The eye relief is said to be about two and a half inches, but I actually found it to be uh, a lot more forgiving than that. So it does actually go further, I would say. Uh, so the eye relief is really nice on this. Works just and and, and kind of gives you um, the option to be a little further away, which is really nice. It is marked on the this side here with the ACS, ACSS reticle part. You can see it right here. Moving to the front, the lens obviously is multi-coated. Um, the glass clarity on Trejicons, every Trejicon I've had, the glass clarity has been phenomenal. This is no different. The glass is super clear, super crisp, you know, edge to edge, uh, no distortion, just beautiful, beautiful glass. I mean, you're paying for it, um, obviously, but the glass and every Trejicon scope that I've had my hands on has been excellent, and this is absolutely no different. Uh, the construction is made of 7075 T6 aluminum, so it is unbelievably rugged, just like a normal ACOG. It is waterproof down to 100 meters, which is 328 feet. So if you wish to go scuba diving with it, feel free. Um, with the, it's, it's light, so the weight on this without the mount is 5.1 ounces. Um, it, in length, it's about four inches. And it's about one, uh, one and a half inches wide. The mount, as I say, that comes with this one, if you, again, if you use the link, this is the American Defense QD mount. It does return to zero. Um, I have been to the range already and, and shot with this. Um, it does return to zero perfectly. Um, and again, it's a free mount worth about $90 to $100. So it's a really great, you know, um, great thing that Premier Arms has offered uh, our viewers, as I said. Okay. Um, it does come with a lifetime warranty uh, through Trigicon. So yeah, a little bad boy here. So... We'll, uh, what we'll do is we'll head to the range, we'll show you the range review, and then we'll come back and I'll give you my final thoughts. Hey everybody, welcome to Discount Guns and Ammo in Springville, Utah. Uh, we're at the range part of our, of our review here. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, um, I haven't shot this with it yet, so I'm gonna zero it, we'll see where it is. Initially with our first three shots, uh, we'll see how long it takes to zero this. Um, so yeah, let's get some shooting done. Okay, so we're gonna take our initial three shots, uh, see where we are and make some adjustments as, as we go. There's actually six shots on here. I was having some trouble uh, with this Lancer magazine. Um, I believe it's the Lancer magazine. Since I switched to my Magpul mag, I haven't had the same issues. So I just took three more shots. Uh, but you can generally see where we are here. We're a little off. Um, so I'll go ahead, we'll make some adjustments to the wind, wind engine elevation here. Um, 
and obviously we'll take these are nice that these are capped and they're uh, tethered so you won't lose them at the range if you have to take them off or out in the field or wherever you may be um, and it's nice they're clearly marked up and down uh, left and right so obviously we want to come up a little bit and let's see if I can quite if I you know if you can hear this very tactile um, very audible um, on that let's try the elevation here so we do want to go right just a little bit all right let's put it back out there and see where we're at all right, so we made the adjustments. We're gonna take three more shots and let's see where we're at, we end up at. Okay, so this was the second round of adjustments. Um, didn't get very far along, so it looks like I was a little light on the adult adjustments there. I should probably have read it what the MOA is before I started this. Okay, obviously these are the second adjustments I've made. We're almost there now. So I would say we just gotta go uh, probably up and just slightly to the right. Send that back out. All right, let's take these next shots and see where we're at. Okay, as you can see, we're almost here. Uh, we're just gonna go up a little bit and we should be uh, good to go. So we'll send that back out. I think we need to go up just to a couple of clicks. All right, let's check it out. All right, so we didn't, didn't take very long at all. Um, as you can see here, we are now zeroed. Um, it was really simple. A couple, of, you know, again, if you see my other videos, I don't always go off exactly. You know, I just like to shoot, shoot, shoot tweak, shoot, tweak, um, until I get there. It takes me a little longer, but I have to do it that way. Sorry about the shooting next door. Um, but the glass is, is super, super crystal clear. And so the ACSS reticle from Primary Arms that's in this is phenomenal. Uh, I haven't used one before until now, but um, it's super simple. It doesn't clutter up my the window but it's so effective um, and it still has, you know, kind of the horseshoe. So if that uh, quick target acquisition and if you need to go to longer distances, you know, it has those drop downs. It, so yeah, it's just a wonderful radical. Uh, very, very happy with it. I did have the TA30, excuse me, TA11 on here, but that thing was huge. Um, but I mean, again, just a phenomenal optic, but I wanted something a little smaller uh, to go with uh, this AR pistol. That's why I've gone with the TA44. So um, yeah, I am going to, Catch you guys in a little bit. I'm gonna do some more shooting. The range part is complete. I had a ton of fun with this optic. It's super nice. The glass clarity is amazing. The ACS is radical. It's the first time I've used one. It will not be the last. It's very simplistic, um, but it's not like, when I say that, I mean it's, it's not cluttering your view, but it gives you so much, so many features of it. You know, the horseshoe still acts as that kind of uh, close quarters, fast acquisition, fast shooting, kind of like the donut of death, right? On the uh, on the EOTech. The the green is super bright, especially when you have lighting, you know, obviously it powers the fiber, uh, the fiber optic here. So it's definitely bright enough, no question about that. Uh, the glass clarity, as I said, is phenomenal. Um, the eye relief is really good. I think they stay at two and a half inches. I think it's actually a little longer than that. So the eye relief's great. I did take them out, I took it off, and then I put back on to see how they held the zero. They held the zero just fine uh, with these this American Defense QD mount. Um, so yeah, this package is, is really, really, ha I'm really happy with it. I think it offers um, 
the same benefits almost exactly as a red dot there is drawbacks um, and pros and pros and cons to both right um, but i think this is a great alternative to a red dot yes it can be a little bit more expensive um, but going battery battery free for me is is the way to go so having tritium and fiber optic makes us uh, makes us a winner for me so very very happy um, so yeah let's get back to the table Okay, so as you've seen in the range review, um, this has been, a, has been a fantastic optic. I kind of went over just about pretty much everything in the video. Um, do I recommend this? Yeah, I absolutely do. They are expensive though. You're going to be looking at about $900. They are not cheap, um, but I'm a firm believer in paying what you, you know, pay, you pay for what you get, right? Um, and this is no different. Um, this for me can take the functionality of a red dot. It does have that slight magnification. Um, I don't find it super noticeable when I'm... Um, when I'm, you know, moving around and, and kind of acquiring targets, I feel like it, I don't really notice it. And then when I need to make those slightly, you know, if I'm looking at a little farther distance, it gives me just that really just a little bit of extra magnification. So um, I think that some people are not going to like the one and a half X and that's fine. Might people might say, well, what's the point of even having a baby ACOG? But I think for the size, the weight, the features and everything it gives you, I think it, it speaks for itself. So I'm a fan. Uh, this will be going on my uh, current uh, go-to rifle. This will be the optic for it. As I said, I am very happy with it. Um, and I mentioned at the beginning of the video, um, if you want to buy this, there's a link in the description. If you use this link, it will get you a free mount, which you can get the American Defense QD mount, which I have here, which is a fantastic mount. And it is free if you use my link. When you click on it, just go to the bottom, it will say free mount. And then there's actually, usually there's two options, but um, just choose whatever, whatever one suits your needs. Uh, and thank you, Premier Arms, for giving our viewers that option to get the... Uh, the free mount that was very nice of them okay um we pretty much covered everything um if you have any questions any comments you know ask them below i'm always happy to help out if i can um if you're not following me on uh twitter please do so i just follow me at prepper junkie and hit that like and subscribe button guys it really does help the channel out and helps me out and i really appreciate it that's it all right everybody have a fantastic one i'll see you later